Well hi there folks. In this video I'm going to show you how you can make this neat little 2S rechargeable 360 milliamp battery for free from batteries that you see chucked away in the street. I'm talking about vapes of course and you see them chucked around everywhere and they've got very useful usable batteries inside. I made a video before which was entitled RC batteries for free and of course I was talking about vape batteries but this video is the, an update because I'm actually telling you how to make a 2S out of two of these little cells. First thing you've got to do is get the cells out of the vape which is very easy. The next thing I'm going to do is put a blob of hot glue between the two to make soldering the leads on more easy. They're both obviously single cell 3.7 volts 360 milliamps so a little matching pair I've deliberately put them this way because this end's going to have a JST but it's also going to need a balancing lead for when you charge it. So I'm just waiting for the hot glue gun to warm up. Right, done. That will make life easier. Now you probably notice this isn't a, a normal balancing lead for a LiPo and incidentally you can charge these nickel metal hydrides with a LiPo charger. That's the normal lead that goes into a LiPo charger. I modified this little charger that came with some drone or other I bought so that I can plug one of these straight on here. In fact I made a video about how to do this because I find it very useful charging micro batteries. So that's why I'm using this kind of lead because I've got loads of those knocking about. So solder this one on first. A clothes peg is just the job for holding these batteries while you're trying to do anything like soldering them. First job of course is to tin this. The tricky bit is you've got to actually connect two terminals to this end. But I'll tin this first. The next job is to solder on the balancing lead. And just to make things even more confusing than they need to be, the white lead is actually going to go on the positive terminal. The black lead is going to go on the negative and the red one is going to go between the two cells where they join at the bottom which actually puts them in series. Hence because when it's actually plugged in it charges both cells independently. So let's get on and solder those. So that's the two cells bridge and the two wires from the balancing lead are going to go I mean I'm trying to make this as neat, as neat and small as possible for micro planes which is what these batteries are most suitable for. So they're going to go down there, like that. I'm going to put a rubber band around it just to hold it. And then of course the next job is to solder these on in the appropriate places. In fact a bit of masking tape will go on there nicely. Right, well this is the tricky soldering bit because you're going to try and solder two wires on at the same time and what happens is one of them tends to jump off so I probably won't do it on camera because I need to hold that down while I just touch the soldering iron onto that so that both wires are attached to this terminal likewise the other side. Now the important thing here is because it's a balancing lead it's not obvious really but you've got black there which is the ground side and you've got white there which on this particular thing is the live side. So the live one wants to go on the live one the black one, more obvious, wants to go on the negative side here of the output whereas the red one here goes onto the balancing lead so that when, you're ba when it's charging on a balancing device two terminals are charging that cell and two terminals are charging that cell. Right, we're not being one to shy away from a challenge. I'm going to attempt to solder this on camera. Let's get it in the right place. Right, well, 15 minutes later, I gave up trying to do it on camera. But there you are, soldered on. That's actually the live side then, and that's on there. That is the worst part of this little job, but nothing wrong with the challenge. So just to recap, that actually joins the two cells to turn it into a 2S. That's the balancing lead. Centre wire connects to the join between the two cells and positive and negative to the output side on the battery 
and I'm going to put a nice little bit of scotch crystal around it which is strong and doesn't degrade to hold that into place and in a second I'll show you it working. Right incidentally before actually starting this I did put a digital meter on each cell to make sure they were both viable cells and they both had a three three point something or other volts in. I'm 99% confident they're going to charge okay. Speaking of which this is my modified weirdo charger and as I say the important thing is to connect this the right way so the negative side is the negative side and as you can see I marked on my modified charger here if this goes bang we're in trouble and it hasn't gone bang it's showing that it's charging two cells so I'm going to give it a charge and then I'm going to show you it in action in a small radio controlled aircraft well the lights have gone out so it's charged now let's just check it with the digital meter and I'll show you I can show you easier on the um, balancing lead we've got 8.25 volts across the two cells and looking at them individually 4.13 there 4.1213 there. So fully charged. Let's see what it does when I stick it in a model. I'd say just right for this flight test mini scout foam board job that I built. Oh yeah. Or it'll be equally as good, small and lightweight, for some new FPV stuff that I'm going to start messing about with again. Let's just plug it into this. Yeah, look at that. My scruffy kitchen. Right, so that's it. Hope you found it interesting or useful. I did make another video called Radio Control Batteries for Free, which explains even more how to actually get those batteries out of, out of vapes. So I'll stick that on the screen. Put a bit of scotch crystal around it. I'll probably put something over those to cover up those exposed terminals to avoid possibility of shorts. But that's it for now. Don't forget, if you've, if you've enjoyed it, please give it a like. And why not check out some of the other stuff on my channel and even subscribe. Lots of radio control model stuff. Lots of little cheap chuck glider conversions. Nine of them, in fact. And drones and all kinds of stuff. Even paragliding, paramotoring. But that's it. I'll stop rambling on. Hopefully I'll catch you all again soon. Bye for now.